Welcome back to Kicking Butts. My name is John, and today we're going to talk about something really special. Imagine for just one second that Apple started to manufacture vaping devices. Think about what those would look like. They'd probably look a lot like this. This is the Aspire Play-Doh. It's an all-in-one compact little device. It's absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. I want to thank Everson.com for sending this to me to review for you even though it's in Dallas Cowboy colors. I still love this thing. Let's get into it. I like to kick people's butts. All right, so in the box for your Aspire Play-Doh, you're going to get your all-in-one mod, of course. We will look at that in much greater detail in just a minute. You're going to get all of your paperwork, instruction manual, scratch and check, warranty card, all that good stuff. A tool to use for replacing the coils, I will demonstrate that in just a minute. You get two choices of drip tip. You've got the stainless steel version and the Delrin. I kind of like the Delrin. It's been working out really well for me. Haven't even really tried this one, and maybe I will in this video. Who knows? It's, the Delrin works for me, so that's just what I've been sticking with. You're going to get two coils in the box. You're going to get a 1.8 ohm kind of mouth to lung coil is what I call it. That's this one here. I have not used it yet because mouth to lung makes me cough. So I just can't use it. So this is fresh and never been used, but this is what they look like when you get them. And you will see the one that I have inside the tank here in just a minute. The one that's in the tank is a one point or excuse me, a 0.4 ohm coil. Again, we'll take a closer look at that. You do get both of those in the pack. You're also going to get some extra grommets, I guess is what they're calling them. These are for draining or filling the tank. And then a USB cable, which is a nice, good, long USB cable, which is really nice. So many of these companies are sending the super short cords. But the cool thing about this, I know, the little things that make us happy, there's also an included battery. It's the new Aspire batteries. They're actually manufacturing them themselves. I watched the Pibasardo video on it. I was absolutely fascinated with that video. If you haven't gone over there and seen that, it's a long video, but go check it out. It shows you the whole process of how they make these batteries. So really cool that this comes with it. So let's take a close look at the mod. So the first thing that we need to do before we can have any fun with this is to install the battery, which could not be simpler. You grab it with two fingers and pull this thing apart. I mean, how easy is that? It's held on really well with these batteries. I mean, you don't get any rattle with it at all. Pulls off very easily, but yet holds it in place really, really nice. So to install the battery, it's marked very clearly, minus positive. Couldn't be any simpler. Just install the battery in there. And the nice thing is to get it out, there's no ribbon or anything. But there's a nice little hole back here that you can use to pop the battery out. So very, very simple to do that. While we have this open, let's take a look at the tank itself. This tank holds different amounts of e-liquid dependent on the coil that you have in there. Right now, I have the 0.4 ohm coil in here because I like a direct lung inhale. And this is going to hold 4.6 mils of juice in this configuration. Now, if you put the 1.8 ohm coil in here, if you're a mouth to lung vapor, it's going to hold an additional mil because the coil is that much smaller. So it's going to hold 5.6 mils. So that's pretty nice to fill it. It's very easy. You just pop open this little bung here. I, I call it a bung. I don't know. And you fill right in there. Couldn't be simpler. When you're done, you just press that back into place and you're ready to go. This one down here is actually there it's there to drain the tank, which I actually have done. Uh, you see this bright red liquid I have in here. It's a company uh, out of Virginia that I guess they put food coloring in their juice or something like that. Uh, it's, it's pretty clever, but it definitely does turn your cotton a different color. It's good juice, though. So, you know, there you go. But I did drain it one time, and I, I actually took both of these out. And, uh, you know, that way you have air entering in the top and then it drains out of the bottom and it's pretty easy to do. Not a big deal. So to replace the coil, you're going to remove the drip tip and you're going to use this tool, which I've been struggling to pick it up. You're going to use this tool and insert it in here and unscrew the coil, which I'm not going to do because I don't want juice all over the place. But it's that simple. When you do that, when you unscrew it, then the whole assembly is going to pull out 
and then you put your new one in, prime it, put your new one in, use the tool to screw it down, and you're ready to go. Fill it up from the top. It's that simple. Very, very easy to do. And, uh, I mean, you know, it's easy. That's, that's the whole name of the game when it comes to this thing. The entire system is easy. It's a great performer, so you really can't lose with this thing. So, all right, let's talk about the menu system. All right, with the battery in and it all full of juice, we are ready to get this thing going. To turn it on, we're going to click the fire button five times. And it's going to read Aspire for a few seconds. I want to show you, the first thing I want to show you that's pretty cool about this is that it has, I guess, the gyroscope in it. When you flip the mod over, it automatically flips the screen. <laughs> I don't know, I just think that's cool. I haven't seen that in any other mods, but it certainly doesn't mean that other mods don't have it. This is just the first time I've seen it. So you do have the option of temperature control or wattage mode in this. Uh, and then in wattage mode, you actually have bypass mode, which I don't use because why? I mean, why do that? But to access that, you're going to push the up and down button at the same time. You don't need to hold it for three seconds. It just asks you automatically, do you want to do wattage mode or temperature control mode? If you select temperature control, you're going to have the option of nickel or titanium. No stainless steel, not in this one. And actually, the coils that came with this are not for temperature control, so we can't do it anyway. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But let's go ahead and take it back to wattage mode again, uh, up and down at the same time. We're going to put this into wattage mode. It's going to ask us, do we want regulated or bypass? We want regulated because we're not crazy. Confirm yes. And there we are. To adjust the wattage while you have the unit running, it's just push the buttons. I mean, it's that simple. It does scroll and it scrolls pretty fast. It gets faster and faster as you go. I have been running this ever since I got it at the full 50 watts and it's been treating me good. The screen is going to show your voltage, your battery indicator, of course, your resistance on the coil, and then your wattage. Very, very simple. It's easy to operate. There's not a whole lot to it. Now, there does this thing does do a couple of other things. One is you can run it in stealth mode, which would be to press the fire button three times. And that's going to run it in stealth mode. Now, when you fire it, the screen doesn't light up. It never lights up at all. Okay, it's pretty cool because, you know, it, I guess it'll extend your battery life a little bit. To reverse that, you're just going to push this three times again. And there we are. You can also lock the device by pressing the fire button five times. And it's locked. Now, while it's locked, you can't do anything. Now, I don't really know why you would want to do this. I mean, I guess, you know, if you're putting it in your pocket, you can do that. But... Why not just turn it off? If you're going to be without it for that long, why not just turn it off? And that leads me to the next thing. To turn it off while it is, while the screen is locked, you'll hold the fire button down and it's going to tell us system off. And now it's off. So that's easier. Why not just do that rather than leave it on and lock it? I don't know, but it's some people do that, I guess. So let's turn it back on. And then we are going to be ready to go. Let's go back up and let's talk about all of the things that I like about this. And maybe a couple things I don't. I don't know. I might have to think of some stuff. Yeah, it's surprising what this little thing can do. All right. Who is the Aspire Play-Doh for? It's for anybody. That's literally anybody. If you're somebody that is a smoker right now and you've been thinking about Coming over into our little world of vaping, this is going to be perfect for you. It's the perfect thing to start with. It's going to give you a great vaping experience, and it's easy to use. comes with everything you need except for juice. Perfect for the new vapor. But it's not a starter kit, folks. In fact, it's not even meant to be a starter kit. This is meant for anybody. Even if you're an experienced vapor, maybe you occasionally go places where you need something stealthy and looks nice. You don't want to carry a big brick around with you. This is going to be perfect for that. I mean, it looks kind of like a cell phone, if you think about it. A very nice one, too. I mean, the form factor is beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It performs great. So even if you're an experienced vapor, you're going to absolutely love this. Is it going to give you the performance of a freaking RDA? No, it's not. But you're not expecting it to do that. What you're expecting it to do is provide you with a good vaping experience while you are at your formal event or while you're at work or whatever it is 
and that it's going to do it's going to do it beautifully how much does this thing cost 79 bucks on everson.com i mean you get everything you need and you get it in a really formal really fancy looking package you can't go wrong 79 bucks order yourself this and a bottle of juice you got everything you need so absolutely perfect let's just do it let me drool all over this thing let's talk about what i love about it so the list of things that I like about the Aspire Play-Doh is pretty long. I love the form factor. I love how small it is. I love the way it looks. It's very formal looking. I love the performance that I get off of this thing. It's, again, it's not like an RDA or anything like that. It's not crazy, but the performance is fantastic off of this. Actually much better than what I was expecting. I love the Aspire battery that comes with it. I mean, it's the first battery that I've had from them. And it's fantastic. I mean, I've had this in a rotation with several other mods and several other devices and stuff like that. And I go back and forth all day long. I'm literally getting more than two days out of this thing. So fantastic. I love the fact that it carries five mils of juice with it. That's fantastic. You wouldn't expect that off of something this size. So it's great. I mean, all of those things, I, I just, I love it. It's built like a little tank. I mean, when I said compare it to like something made by Apple, it really feels like that. I mean, it just feels like a rock solid little Apple mod. That's what it feels like. So yeah, I love a lot of stuff about this. I mean, okay, there's a couple things I don't like about it. Let's just go ahead and get that over with. Okay, so the first thing that I don't like about this is that I wish it had just a little bit more airflow it's close and the airflow is is pretty substantial in this considering how small it is you would think that it wouldn't have all that much airflow it does but i wish it was a little bit more that's the only thing and the other thing is i do find myself vaping it like this a lot uh, with my thumb and what that does is it covers up the airflow. The airflow adjustment is on the bottom there. You turn it to adjust the airflow. So when I'm holding it like this, I'm covering up the airflow. And, you know, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's my fault. It's not the device's fault. Where else would they have put the airflow? But that's something that, that I run into quite a bit. Uh, sometimes I even hold it like this and I'm covering up the airflow. And what do I do? I go to hit it and it's like, oh, what? oh, I've got to move my finger. No big deal. That's, those are really the only two things that I could find that, that I dislike about it. I'm not going to sit here and stare at it and wonder, okay, let me find some things I don't like. No, that's it. If it doesn't jump out at me as something that I don't like, then I, I don't think it's worth mentioning to you. So that's it. That's what I like. That's what I don't like. Let's talk about final thoughts. So my final thoughts are, it's no big mystery. You know exactly what I'm going to say. I absolutely love this thing. I love it for what it's for. The first thing that comes to mind for me is Captain America Civil War is coming out this weekend. It's actually already out. I'm recording this on Saturday and I'm going to go see it probably tomorrow. This is going to be in my pocket when I go. So that's, it's perfect for that. In a past video, I said that it was going to be the mini vault. No way. Not anymore. It's going to be this one because not only is it perfect for getting you by a three hour movie, but it also looks nice. So I know it's opening weekend. It's the biggest movie ever. So there's probably going to be a million people in the theater and I won't be able to pull it out, but I'm going to have it in my pocket anyway. So I love it. Do I think it could ever be my daily driver? No, because I need something with a little bit more airflow. But if I'm going out on a night on the town, or when do I ever do that? But if I'm going out or if I'm going to be at a friend's house, going to a barbecue, going, who knows? If you're going somewhere and you want to have a nice fancy device with you that can get you by, this is going to be perfect for that. And for that, I love it. And I also absolutely love the performance of it. The flavor is just ridiculous. I love it. So yes, you should definitely pick one of these up. 79 bucks, everson.com. You can't go wrong. You get everything you need. So listen, folks, at the end of every single video, I always say the same thing. I say, get off your ass and get out there and convert friends and loved ones from smokers to vapors. But now I'm going to add something to that. You need to also do your part to advocate for us to be able to continue vaping because it's getting serious now. The government is clamping down on it. There, If you don't know what's going on with it yet, just Google vaping advocacy. I could do an hour-long video on it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just not. So Google vaping advocacy or FDA vaping, Google something like that. Head to casa.org, not blowing smoke, 
Safada. I don't, I don't remember exactly what that stands for, but all of these different websites are there for you to get the information that you need so that you know what you need to do to do your part to make sure that we don't lose this. Because I don't know about you, you might be doing this for fun because it's cool to do with your friends and it tastes good, but I need this. I don't want to lose this. I don't want the government taking it away from me. So I'm going to do my part and I think you should too. So let's all do our part to make sure that we don't lose this because we all love it and we all want it to stay around. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to talking to you again next time.